All right, guys, welcome to a foggy, cloudy day in Orlando, Florida. I want to first apologize for the delay in our videos. Um, we actually had something happen where our camera, our main camera, our Panasonic G7 um, decided to stop working. And so we have, uh, you know, we, we purchased that less than a year ago from a place called Mike's Camera in Boulder, Colorado. When we were in Boulder, Colorado, we, we bought it. And um, so I called up Mike at Mike's Camera and told him what was going on. And he said, hey, it's still under warranty. Send it to me as quickly as possible. So we packed it up and shipped it off. And so we've, um, you know, we've, we're kind of waiting for that to, to come back. And I know, I know many of you are wondering probably what is going on. We want to see the paint color of the bus. So for those of you who have followed our conversion progress, um, you'll know that I never had done any kind of auto, auto body paint before. And so, you know, the other day we painted the bus and we had some issues. 64 degrees, sunny, highs will be 71 and lows will be 49. So we have the bus completely prepped. It's a beautiful day out. We couldn't have asked for a, a better day. Yesterday was very windy and we, we were- We actually were gonna do it yesterday and I'm so glad we didn't because yeah. it was so windy and today is a beautiful day. Whoa, what is that? Oh, oh my goodness. He's Whoa. got a fish, a big fish. Oh This is when we do the coat of paint, our first coat of paint on our bus. Curious to see how this will look. Should have a really nice shimmer to it. It's kind of a deep red. It's not the same kind of red we did on the Good News bus. But the important thing is making sure it's stirred well. I purchased five gallons of this for the bus. And what I've basically been told is you, you know, you start painting and you don't stop until you've got your two to three coats on. So that's what we're gonna do. hot out that day so the paint was drying very quickly and by the time I got back around to it it was already dried and then it was just like putting another coat on. But this is probably the first thing I've done on this project so far that I'm not really happy with how it turned out. There was just areas that just it did not seem to gloss over properly. One side was in the direct sun and then this side was not in the direct sun so when I came around to this side it was really hard for me to tell like if it was going on right or not going on right. But I'm almost wondering if this might be my better side um, because I just noticing like even the rails here like this, if it all turned out like this, I'd be really happy because this looks really good like it, like it should. Oh, a mosquito, oh great. Mosquito just had to come land on my new paint. You know, like I can see it right here the way the light's hitting it, like right here, there's an area where it's not, it feels a little rough, you know, over here it feels really smooth. 
and glossy, like this area right here feels really smooth and glossy. This area over here feels rough, and like there's something just not right there. So there's the front. Now on this side, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see a lot of spots that did not take right. Like right here, right here. You know, there's just a lot of areas where I think it, maybe it needs, maybe it just needs another coat. You know, I don't know. The back I thought turned out pretty good, but even on the back, there's some, there's some spots that don't, that don't look right. We decided to go ahead and order a couple more gallons of paint and redo it again, which we did. And um, I was not really sure how it was going to turn out again. I was think I was having issues with the gun. It was a very cheap gun. And also we're spraying um, the, the color of the paint that we that we chose is a fire red pearl. Pearls are a little bit harder to paint because you can actually see pattern and stuff. So uh, we kind of ran into some issues with some striping and things like that. But overall, we're pretty happy with how it turned out. So let us know what you think of the new color scheme. So it's going to be kind of red, white, and then of course the windows will kind of have a black, you know, look to them. And then our, our door ha is, is black as well. Um, and, you know, and there's going to be like vents here that are white. And what we're planning on doing is we want to get lettering that kind of is pretty large that will say the bus life, you know, all the way down. Actually, it would be starting at this end, wouldn't it? because I'm backwards right now. So the bus life all the way down the side. Okay, so this is my favorite part of the bus, of the paint job. What do you guys think? Cool. Pretty neat, huh? Uh -huh. Salad. 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 Salad.